the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. But God is able to do just what he says he will do over your life is God a South Africa, the final mountain. This is where the king of Tyre himself sits. Mm. Look up. This is the mountain of business and finance. This is where the king of Tyre, the old serpent, he sits here by himself. Not Jezebel now. Himself. Because this is the mountain that forms and controls all over mountains. Please listen to me. The mountain of finance is not about money. The mountain of finance is about control. We live in a civilization that is economically driven. Let me show you two scriptures that will bless you. Ready? Proverbs 20, I think it should be. Proverbs chapter 20. Ooh. Ooh. 22. Proverbs 22. We'll read verse 2 and then we'll go to verse 7. Proverbs 22. Read with me, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ready? One to read. Uh huh. One more time. Just keep verse two. Keep verse two media. Now look at that very serious statement. The rich and the poor meet together. He says the Lord is the maker of them all. Why didn't just say the Lord has made all the inhabitants? The Lord never made them so. He made them all, but they separated themselves and gave themselves a definition called rich, poor. Please look at me. The battle for prosperity is not a battle for carnal recognition. The battle for prosperity is the battle to redeem time. Please look at me. I need to explain this to you. The, the apex of dominion is dominion over time. Please listen to me. The unit of destiny is time. Whatever eats your time destroys your destiny. Are we together now? It takes time to love God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to build your relationship with your wife and husband. It takes time to know your children. It takes time to sit down and think well and live a useful life. Everybody shout time. One more time, shout time. So this is the foundation of the teaching on this mountain. Time redemption. That whatever takes your time is taking your destiny do we agree so the battle for prosperity is the battle for time redemption is the battle for efficiency it's not just the battle for cars houses estates and names 
no those are very inferior motivations the battle for time so satan in exploring the cosmos found out he had to find where man's time goes to and he found out that our time goes to making ends meet and he says that's it i got it i got it now since your time is committed to making sure that you have the resources that make you alive and strong let me do something to your time and where you spend it so that you will now be so distracted and not have the time to serve the purposes of God watch this when the name do you know one of in Israel and in, in Egypt when the nation of Israel went to Egypt they were being given straw straw for their building is that true and then the time they had left they would tell Moses go and advocate our exodus the time has come for us to go when that message got to Pharaoh hear what Pharaoh said is it not because you have time we are giving them straw so the little time they have they can call upon God he says stop giving them straw so that the time they have left they will focus on getting straw Oh, you still have time to come to church in the morning let's do something to the economy you still have time to arrive home by nine and pray with your family let's do something to your life you still have time to pray for one hour with your wife no do something to your time the battle for wealth is the battle for time redemption please listen to me it takes time to truly love God now I always give this example let's assume this gentleman is say 50 years you get born again at age 40 do you know that's already a disadvantage thank God you've met Christ now but you get born again at age 40 the time it will take to receive the Holy Ghost argue about your philosophies versus the word of God and then later now agree it's going to take time to understand the things of the kingdom by that time you are 50 or 55 now you now learn the laws of wealth and all of these principles you are about to build your first house at 60 now I'm, I'm not don't feel bad it's not a testimony now hold on 40 years spiritually speaking is behind you there has to be a way of redeeming time and the bible says and i will restore the years god's concern please sit down we're almost there so what you really lost was not money what you really lost was not business what you really lost was not relationship what makes you really cry is time time give me time and anything left can come back give me time and i can rise again give me time and i can learn again but the challenge is that when time goes it does not return god does not restore time just by taking you backward he takes what is backward and makes it to wait for you please hear me let me act out something i always act out and may this be a prophecy for someone please come my friend watch this everyone these two people start their journey in destiny born the same day at the same time right both of you will move slowly and then you stop somewhere now this guy starts his journey through life and a delay happens to him everybody say delay. delay this is his colleague making progress in life and there he is standing there keep moving now you start coming that's not restoration that's progress because he's still behind the holy ghost has to pick you and bring you 
listen so that when i check the equation of your life i don't see the gap the lack is no longer there watch this so a woman is being barren for 10 years even if she has a child that's not restoration that's progress so god gives her triplets in nine months it's not about three children it's about taking 10 years and putting it in nine months listen these are the systems of advantage that are in the kingdom everybody's destiny by default is disadvantaged you are mandated through spiritual intelligence to now outsource these systems and begin to introduce them to your destiny space are we blessed now here we are before we pray and blow the roof off let me just establish this I tell you why God wants you to prosper he wants you to prosper so that you can gain time that a day can come I can come to your house on a Tuesday morning and all I see you doing is that you're on your knees with your wife saying today is a time off to worship God and they say you want to die of hunger you say no there is a system put in place the faithfulness of God I can pay for my time look up this is a hundred dollar bill this thing right here you see has relocated people out of the will of God please look up this has made people to marry people they have no business marrying and you say it does not have a voice and you say it's weak this little note right here has made people betray friends this thing right here has made people to get into diabolic things that should not be please look up this thing right here has made others die and go to hell because the opportunity to get the gospel to them could not get this thing here has broken homes this thing here has made children who would have been presidents right now to just be pushing trucks and trolleys around the road because they could not be educated if you do not have this you are really disadvantaged now please listen now you understand my perspective so when we talk about and this is the challenge with the prosperity message as it were respectfully speaking the the object behind it and the motivation is not just a flamboyant life just to satisfy flesh there is a bigger and nobler agenda we're talking of kingdom come listen I left home over a week ago I'm only going to be back home by the end of the month and I'm only able to do that because all things are well at home I won't lie to you here are we together if all things are not well at home the concentration to stay with the spirit and produce the revelations that bless the nations will not be there there's no point telling lies we're not acting the body of Jesus is hanging on the cross and a prayer warriors prayer could not bring it down the salvation of man is at the expense of this mountain and a man who had the influence goes to the king and says king I have a grave don't worry just give me the body and that body do you know there are certain revelations you cannot have when you are poor because there is nothing you can do about it now listen the spirit of God that would bring deliverance for Israel was going around Egypt and everybody who could see visions was poor including Joseph so he had to make do with a king because if 
if someone in the camp of israel saw the vision will he go and tell pharaoh and say i, I saw four cat uh, seven cattles eating the lean ones they say please go back and walk you are just stressed give him a day off but listen when god wants his will to be done he will make sure that will is received by men of influence I'm recalibrating your understanding about the message of prosperity let me tell you why I hate poverty I don't hate poverty just because I want to feel rich I hate poverty because of its effect in kingdom advance if poverty were neutral to the gospel neutral to the purposes of God I wouldn't have a problem with it but I found out through experience and through the word that lack of resources is terrible it's worse than sickness yeah you can be sick and not have the appetite to eat but you can be poor and all the malls are open and you are still watching and your children are watching listen to me there are many books today that should go around the world encounters with truths that can bless nations but this is what limited it not the government not a policy are we together now yes, sir. many cheap victories that would have been won money complicated the destinies of people the lack of it and i made up my mind i said lord i don't want to stand as a man of god on stage and begin to manipulate people and so you must show me the systems now please watch this in 2007 I had a vision I had an encounter with a great man of God in that vision and then apostle I was led into a room please listen carefully when I entered that room I saw several currencies of several nations until then I didn't pay attention to anything finance it was just encounters Holy Spirit purpose kingdom fire miracles and that's wonderful but god was introducing me to a new dimension of the kingdom so that it would bring balance and efficiency to my life and now i entered that room please listen to me and when i saw that i was asked to pick and the interesting thing was the loss you would have for money under that condition ah let me pack everything no no at all i was totally not connected to it I just picked a few of the bundles and I was done one of the few times in my life that I had the audible voice of God I had four words massive kingdom wealth transfer I didn't understand what I heard Lord what is the meaning of this many years ago we went for a crusade somewhere and it was a mighty crusade with signs and wonders but I could not pay the bills for the sound people as anointed as I was they had given me time if you do not pay these bills we may get people and go and lock you did I steal no this thing wanted to put me in prison please listen to me listen for your children listen for tomorrow listen for the gospel listen for the sake of his majesty south africa hear me i bring you a message it is more than business it is more than buying and selling this is a battle for preserving time for efficiency whoever has this will sit on the throne you cannot remain in the corridors of power without this there's no point arguing it it is true Zechariah chapter 1 we're going to pray I apologize I know I've taken a little time but just just give me a few minutes to tie this up
or let's do Haggai Haggai 1 and verse 8 let's do Haggai well done guys I'll soon release you thank you Haggai 1 and verse 8 now read with me believers go up to the mountain it's not a suggestion go up the mountain is an instruction do something on that mountain if you do it well you will come down with wood what is this made out of the prophet could not see money so he was saying what he saw then he said whatever I see you coming down with is made of wood go up the mountain you don't get wood on the mountain you get wood in a forest but this kind of wood you get it on a mountain enter that system do something an interaction in that system will grant you access to wood when you come down build the house give me space give me time and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem the name of God is heavy it takes resources to keep it high if we want the nations in reality listen there is only so much you can do for yourself in terms of your personal comfort no matter how loud you are there is only a limit we're talking of the resources that will save nations in a day there are three reasons why God blesses us and please if you are a man of God here and a business person now please sit down sit down can you spare me 10 more minutes or so please please be patient with me God brought me here to just what we want I told you there are doors that we must close once and for all there are three reasons why God blesses us in the kingdom please understand this number one he blesses us to live a comfortable life number two he blesses us so that we can provide the resources that makes for kingdom advance kingdom advance is not just a call that they make in church and say so this so a thousand rand a million rand is part and parcel of the responsibility of believers it's just that how we've gone about it is what makes it look like it's some cookish thing in islam and other religions they know it's a foundational teaching that part of your kingdom responsibility is to make resources available for kingdom advance not by manipulation by revelation and the third reason why God blesses us in this kingdom is to be able to reveal the love of Jesus to a dying world in a definite and a practical way these are the only three reasons why God blesses us in this kingdom number one to live a comfortable life let me tell you poverty is evil just find a way of believing I'm not lying to you poverty is evil yes it is yes it is are we together so the Lord wants to empower me so I can be an extension of his glory across the earth he wants to empower me so that I can contribute to the lifting up the name to lifting the name of Jesus even in South Africa that when the name of Jesus is going down we stand and say no way the name of Jesus continues to be lifted high three revelations that represent the foundation for wealth this is the mountain that concerns many people all over the world people worry and stress now young people who are in early 20s 
collapse because of high blood pressure who are they taking care of you see people talking to themselves and driving till they bash a tree they they they, they did not even see that they were alone you, you, you see if we don't if we don't do something about this we are going to lose people someone gets up and sits on his bed with the bills in front of him takes a deep breath and that's it he's gone but the bill is still there so someone is going to inherit it remember uh, uh, um, uh, second kings now that's why some people cry when others die it's not just that they are missing of course yes thank god in all fairness they are going but then what they are leaving behind now these are very real issues let me tell you very real issues please write this down foundational revelations that we must have you want to take charge of Tyre and Sidon, the marketplaces of the earth number one all wealth comes from God all wealth are you tired guys I will soon release you also. you've been sitting there standing I think I have to pray for you I mean you can't be standing here for nothing now write this down please all wealth comes from God do you know what that means that God is Abba everybody say Abba Abba means source that means every other thing including your business is only a channel the moment your business or your job becomes your source you are finished so all wealth and all blessings come from God that's number one then in addition look at me please all blessings come from God through men to men this is the second revelation you must have nothing really comes from God to you it comes from God through men to men hallelujah who is into cloth in here seated here I'm seeing an anointing on you my brother this man wearing suit stand up I don't know you but this man is going far I don't know him more but I'm what I'm seeing in the spirit there is a mighty anointing mighty anointing that is coming on you for it is is a true grace for wealth but then you would dress kings believe me when I tell you this You will dress kings. You will dress nobles. God will connect you to great men of God. Across many spheres. And you will experience the ministry of the Holy Ghost in unusual dimensions. He will bring you ideas. Creative ideas of the spirit. I release that grace upon you right now. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's finish up where was I all blessings now imagine that gentleman it's not just that it's today God wanted to say that to him listen 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 the day you find the man sent to you is the day God has come to you if your pastor refuse to put this program what you saw in your dream will still not happen even though god already said it please there are certain things you have to this is the world of men don't say it's only god no 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 god tells david you are king samuel says no the answer is no David is left in the wilderness and God does not bypass him to say you are wasting my time he comes to plead with a man and say please how long shall you weep seeing that I've rejected Saul as king carry the horn don't waste this man's time man can define the destinies of others now this is not in some manipulative way but it is true God blesses men through men one man's signature can open gates over your life in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you 
oh esther who likes you oh ruth who likes you hallelujah please don't miss tonight i have to stop here let me reserve what else i have to share for tonight listen to me all wealth comes from god it comes through men to men i've spoken about everywhere here you may not be called into these various places but this one concerns you for sure it is your business hallelujah tonight i'm going to be sharing with you principles now i know that seated here are business veterans your pastor being one of them many of you here are doing well and i don't mean to insult your pedigree and make it look as though you do not understand your art but let me tell you there are superior dimensions in the spirit let me round up by teaching you three levels of wealth There are seven dimensions of prosperity the Lord revealed to me that will come to the body of Christ before Christ returns. We are only in the third dimension now. The first level of wealth is called transactional wealth. This is the level where you receive financial rewards among many other rewards for packaging your value turning it into products and services, serving it with excellence to a targeted consumer base. You call that business. Are we together? So you are paid in exchange for your time and the value that you provide. That is a level. The limitation is that the price attached to it is fixed. If you are a billionaire, and this bottle of water is how many how, how much is this say six rands you are not going to pay a million rands for this even though you have it because it is valuable but not that scarce are we together the second level of wealth is called transformational wealth here you do not sell your value you dispense it freely you change lives and then they are mandated according to the reward system of the kingdom to bless you as an expression of their perception of your value that is why a man of god may not charge you money he will still bless you you may never even know him but god's reward system mandates that one day according to his system of justice he will be blessed for what he has done the power of transformational wealth is that you are blessed based on the perception of how valuable you are in the eyes of the giver so someone can give your man of God a hundred rands and another will say you blessed me so much you changed my life here's a million rands so in one day you can quantum leap into dimensions now the second level is very difficult because you will be a fool for many years people will take you for granted you will give and pour yourself into people many people will trivialize your impact but the bible never said you will reap where you sowed he said you will reap what you sowed you can sow in south africa and reap in the u.s the earth is a soil any location authorized by God can bring you a harvest so if all you do is business and you are not changing lives you will be slow listen one man's thank you can be your profit for 10 years you must explore all the avenues that fast track your financial growth you can sell your value and have a snail like movement for many decades and yet one person can look at you and say apostle thank you you organize the excel conference thank you to your dear wife 
would you want me to override the checks for this conference for the next 10 years transformational wealth the third value of wealth the third level of wealth is the highest as revealed of the three is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of God the power of the prophetic Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 listen to me it is true that the prophetic can bless And the elders of the Jews built it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel through the prophesying. Not through blocks and cement. They built and finished through the prophesying. Let me tell you this. The prophetic has been abused and manipulated in many circles in Africa, respectfully speaking. And I speak as one who is part of the body of Christ. I never speak against the body of Christ. I am part of it. I speak with all honor. But it is true that there's been a lot of imbalances and exaggerations and abuses here and there. But the prophetic still works. It can change a man's life overnight. Let me tell you how the prophetic works. Realities in the realm of the spirit all exist. What you call creation is simply transportation from the realm of the spirit. What we call in this realm creation is simply a system that transports spiritual realities from a realm and a domain that is more than the three-dimensional realm. Listen, that means the favor on your life already exists. In the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that God had blessed us with all blessings, spiritual blessings, but they reside in the heavenly places and are routed through the office of the Christ. This was Paul's doctrine to the church in Ephesus. Are we together now? And now the Bible says, listen carefully, that because those things are in the spirit, they exist. The assignment of the prophetic is to give them dates and make them appear. to appoint unto them that mourn you can make a man's next year become tomorrow that, that's the prophetic please believe what I'm telling you in the land of Samaria women were eating their future because that's what happens when people are stressed they eat their future they eat their capital they eat their children suddenly news gets to Elisha and he stands under the influence of the spirit and says by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would have happened he was making something that already existed in the realm of the spirit listen everything you are looking for is also looking for you the prophetic accelerates your connection yes the job you seek is finding you too the lifting you seek is finding you too but it can come at a slow rate that your lifetime may not accommodate. So the prophetic, with one word, truly inspired of the Spirit. Four lepers. The prophetic. Once the prophetic word is uttered, is uttered, the spirit of wisdom begins to hover around the horizon to look for the physical actors that will make that prophecy come to pass. There is a science to prophecy it can be understood so when i speak over your life i'm not just speaking over your life by the spirit i am calling what must enter your life within the time allocated to make that word not look like a lie so if it takes favor to make sure that word does not fall see the word of god is a tray it's a messenger it returns to god as proof that what was on it was delivered the word of god is a tray it carries favor it carries healing it carries blessings so if i send you you hold this and you bring it to me if i see you returning back with an empty saucer it's proof that what was on it reached me so the word of god returns to him as proof that it got to the receiver so that he will send it again there is 
the spoken word but there is the sent word the sent word is a messenger that does not fail mobile telecommunication systems is an attempt to explain how the word of god works there are 7.2 billion people on earth but i can type a text right now and send it to you it will meet a billion waves there but it will push them till it gets to your phone and that that text is quick and powerful is so sharp it can cut every other network it's an attempt to explain the word of god so that when words come you don't just say amen but you understand what should be happening if i declare and i say may your destiny help us find you you don't just say amen you expect them immediately as you walk out of here and someone says sorry i remember my wrong since 2017 i should have reached you you are now not surprised because you now know prophecy is at work we're going to pray listen these are the systems of the kingdom that make men dominion is a resultant effect of your comprehending the ways of the kingdom the weightiness the vastness and the accuracy of the spiritual information that you sustain is what defines your possibilities in this kingdom hallelujah when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was all you made up. And we're standing here. Hear me. I am a product of many anointings. I am a product of many graces. I have partaken of the investment that is upon the body of Christ the Lord wants to supply for us the grace I know we have the grand the, the, the evening session tonight and I apologize for taking our time but I just want to wrap up this time we'll have the time to pray for people again in the evening we may not have the time to do that but I came here with a burden this morning and this afternoon I want you to taste of a dimension of the grace and the power of God that is truly able to shift men. You see, the Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet, they were preserved. This, this is not some nonsense and rubbish just, just around to manipulate your mind. When the Lord Jesus appeared to me, I would share more on my encounter, hopefully maybe by night. He stretched forth his hand towards me and a light came. How I did not die is a mystery. Please listen to me. It was like taking the sun and putting it inside an ant and in another vision as I would have the Lord spoke to me and said my son on this day I give you my presence as a gift and I saw an angel of the Lord that stands by me and he said he will walk with you and I said what is his name and he said he is called the angel of the Lord's presence. And then in another encounter, the Lord gave me an instruction. He said, Every nation and every territory I will send you to, there must be someone in that nation that the light that came from me to you. That light must find someone within that nation I want to pray for you 
it is the light that produces the miracles just help me with the symbol thank you come on we're around you i apologize if in any way i sound arrogant no this is not it's not in any way the boasting of the flesh we stand as ordinary people who have been helped by the spirit we are not ashamed to declare our limitation outside of his influence but please hear me in the next five minutes if you can believe what will happen to you you will marvel and wonder at the immutability the forcefulness of the power and the grace of God please lift your voice in one minute and declare enough is enough I'm tired of this level in the spirit please someone pray you're a man of God it's time to pray there are people that pray in this church South Africa pray Shift me financially. Take me to another dimension. Shift my ministry to another dimension. My business. Hallelujah. Please listen. Every blessed man knows that you prosper based on your backing from the realm of the spirit james chapter 2 and verse 26 apostle james was teaching on faith and works and he veered off and borrowed a kingdom concept he says for as the body without a spirit is dead you kill the body of anything by taking its spirit component away from it and you give life to everybody your business is a body where is the spirit that backs it your job is a body where is the spirit that backs it because james said when all you have is a body without the spirit component that backs it it is dead your church is a body where is the spirit component that backs it it is only marvelous in our eyes when it is the lord's doing i want to shift you from being ordinary men of God it's time for us to rise to supernatural dimensions of power apostles and prophets and teachers business people it's time for you to rise by a mystery men cannot understand by what force does your business move forward how come you attract clients from all over the world it is by the spirit hallelujah now listen our time is gone just two prayers i want to release the grace for speed please hear me the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael when speed is on you you can start from anywhere to anywhere listen as i pray for you the power of god will come on you many of you will start running physically please help them and bring them so they don't injure themselves whether you are an usher or not i stand in the name of jesus and i decree and declare house of treasures south africa take the grace for speed take that grace now Take that grace now. Help them. Take that grace now. Help them please. Speed. I take away delay. By the spirit of God. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I shift you. In ministry. I shift you. In business. Speed. Speed. Help them. Help them. Help them. Speed. Hold them. 
so they don't enjoy themselves they are not running on their own please hold them speed kaparata shikata speed hold them please hold that lady please let her not injure herself please whether you are an usher or not hold them anyone running around so that they don't enjoy themselves i shift you again i'm praying take that grace take that grace take that grace take that grace in business take that grace in ministry take that grace i bring you the power of the holy ghost upon your life ideas quick understanding Time to pray for you. Take that grace. Take that grace. Last prayer, Acts chapter 12. The influence has a gate. Acts chapter 12. We're rounding up. Please look up. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the Jews. Quickly please, verse 2. And he killed James the brother of John with the sword. 3. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also next verse 4 and when he had apprehended him he put him where remember the purpose was to shut his influence so he kept him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people 5 Peter was therefore kept in prison but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him now watch what is about to happen to someone and Herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with hands and chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison next verse hallelujah and behold look up i want to show you how doors open that bring a man to a realm of influence the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in prison where did the light start shining the light comes to you in prison first and then he smote peter by the side saying raise him up arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hands the chains had fallen but he was still in prison follow the progression next verse the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 now watch this he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he saw a vision verse 10 is where the mystery is watch this and when they were past the first gate the prison had three gates the first gate brings you out of that place of dungeon then he went to the second gate you are out but you are not yet in the city you are not in the prison but you are not in the city either and then he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate take note immediately he said this is the gate that leads to where the city there is a gate that leads to the city for your business for your products and he said he opened the gates and he went out when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city influence this is the gate that grants you access to the hear ye him anointing there is a grace that makes a generation hear you just because you have something to sell or something to say 
does not mean people will come to reward your value he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder can I pray that prayer for you in the name of Jesus house of treasures South Africa business people politicians men and women of God I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic and I speak to the gate that must be open for your influence Ephata, be open be open for your business be open for ministry be open in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah apostle please can you come up just for a moment now watch this I want to do something that I usually do not do please listen to me I know that the concept of seeds and sowing and giving unfortunately but respectfully has been so abused in the body of Christ it's not because people are greedy it's just because respectfully speaking we men of God have not demonstrated the kind of integrity that may make people to freely give that is the truth it's not that people are greedy and we take responsibility as men of God we are men of God but we are also students in the school of the spirit and we must not be ashamed to learn and to adjust if and when the need arises That's right. hallelujah but I will tell you this I love you too much to not communicate to you the whole counsel of God I know that there are people who have been manipulated I know that there are people who have been all kinds of things have happened but listen to me I want you right now and in the evening you're going to stay with God and agree with God on a sacrifice that you're going to connect with in this meeting now please if you don't believe what I'm saying no problem at all there is no pressure whatsoever on you I fear God and I serve him with my heart God has made me by his grace a man of integrity even on this wise I would not come from Nigeria to come and deceive you no I fear God I plan to last in ministry but let me tell you I will I will not lie to you and deceive you because of fear of being misunderstood the Bible says let God be true and all men a liar all men liars hallelujah praise God as I'm standing here I'm standing with my own seat too okay no no when I give I don't take again God bless you for you watch this listen men of God you don't make money off members you make money off your obedience your obedience to the truth that is written if you are not a practitioner of what you teach you will be a victim of what you teach it is true I cannot be talking of sowing and giving and then I stand back myself no God honors his word you don't obey it it will not work Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and observe all that I command thee this day then the Lord all of these blessings shall come upon you you know the Lord shall exalt you you will be above all the nations of the earth I believe this I want to challenge everyone where do these seeds go to they don't go to heaven they are right here on earth they will be counted right here and be used I think um, a pastor was whispering to me that the, the God blessed them with a property they're about to acquire something like that wonderful so there's no need playing games and lying as if the money will evaporate and enter heaven no 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 right after the service is going to be counted and it will be used for kingdom advance but the Bible says there is a mystery that when you give on earth you stand there is a Melchizedek that also stands in heaven concurrently as that is happening there is a spiritual transaction and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth hallelujah I want to challenge you 
you're here and God has already put it in your heart. You have the seed you can sow. Some of you may need time to just go back home, think through with your wives, your families. Let it be a sacrifice that you are bringing. You're saying, Apostle, I believe. Please do not bring anything if you don't believe this. There's no point bringing anything and acting as though it was a manipulation. I say that because I believe that we're enlightened believers. We're believers who have understanding. And I'm speaking to people from other nations too. I'm sure that there should be a way of connecting into this. That, that, that's true. So um, by evening, I'm going to be praying here. And please do not miss the evening. I want to share something very powerful. And then will make it a miracle service will have the opportunity to pray and it will also be an impartation that people will come and just receive something solid look if it's not on you it's not on you period there's there's no need hoping and wishing if favor is not on you is not on you if if the grace for healing is not on you is not on you if the grace for wealth and prosperity is not on you is not on you i am very very I'm not ashamed of the graces I do not have. I seek them with honor. I seek them with humility. That's right. Praise the Lord. Tonight, God will be making all grace abound towards us. Hallelujah. I asked your apostle to stand in honor because he is the man of God over this place. I want to pray for you. And um, when I pray for you, I'm going to give a minute before I, you know, we just wrap up the service. If you have your seed, your seed, I'm not just saying something you put in your pocket and come to give. I wish I had time. I would have told you my experiences and, and seeds that I have had to release to shift my life into several dimensions. This is not in any way, I will repeat, to manipulate resources from your hand. But this is true. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. You can open the tulip gates over your life and your business right here in South Africa. That's right. I believe that if I challenge people to sow and they sow and nothing happens, I should return their money because it's nonsense. I told you I prayed a prayer and I told God, I said, may I never meet with people twice to change their lives. No. Father, we stand before you because we believe you are true. You have revealed to us the cosmos and your end time agenda your desire to see to it that the christ be revealed and be glorified in and through our lives you have shown us the places that we occupy in destiny and you have shown us the value of accessing the resources of heaven lord we want to be an uncompromising generation a generation that reflects christ truly a generation that conquers the cosmos in experience and one of our desires is that you shift us financially. Amen. Lord, I stand with Apostle Felix in agreement that as we commit ourselves to this sacrifice even by the Spirit, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, shift us to levels unimagined. Amen. For some of you, may this be what will shift your ministry. You will quantum leap to a strange dimension of supplies. For some of you, may this be the seed that takes your business global. I bless you with the blessings of heaven. And I decree and declare, I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I command it, go around South Africa, gather your kind, return to the givers a thousandfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men of God, don't go yet. Before you go, please, let's put our hands together for the Lord. When you read the scripture that the church prayed, and Peter, an angel of the Lord was dispatched to Peter, I just felt this urge that we we'll pray for my wife. For the perfection of her health amen. amen god gave me this woman 20 years ago and i value her so much i made a vow to god that as long as she's alive from the day we got married no woman will see my nakedness and i've honored it for 20 years and and i want you to pray for her earnestly i told god i don't want another woman i want this woman i said it several times to god 
And I believe that with the graces that are here today, we can join forces to chase. The Bible says one will chase a thousand and two will put 10,000 to flight. And I believe that there are so many graces here. And, and it just came into my spirit that we should take advantage of this moment and just pray for her. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I had intended to pray um, in the office, but since... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Kata Pakotos Koto Breka Teka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline